Hi everyone, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash over Fuju Mod 4.0. So first of all, I'm going to show you the um, kernel I'm currently on. It's Dark Core 2.5. Secondly, what I want to show you is that you should disable your lag fix. So at the moment, as you can see, I'm on RFS only. Lag fix preference off. Obviously, I've rebooted already, so I'm, I'm, I'm on RFS. So um, make sure you do that either through recovery or through the app. Preferably the um, recovery because it's um, it's always better that way and you don't get any glitches. Anyway, next what you want to do is uh, put two files um, on in your internal SD. What I'm going to be doing is flashing the current version and then flashing the ultra version. So I'm going to show you this all in one video. So you want to put the current version and the current ultra.tar versions both in the internal SD card as you can see. Um, one thing is that you can flash this via Odin, however I'm going to be use, using SGS Kernel Flasher. So when you open for SGS Kernel Flasher, um, if you don't know how to use it, it's really really simple. You can back up a kernel and you can choose a kernel and you can flash a kernel. Simple as that. And you can obviously tick auto reboot off the flash. So what we're going to do is go choose kernel, go back one go down and find zimage current.tar click on that and it's been selected so now all we're going to do is just hit flash kernel and there you go it's preparing to flash successfully extracted and it's flashing now going to reboot go ahead reboot be my guest <laughs> there you go we know we're on fuji mod because of that um, the boot animation, it just vibrated once and there you go, I'm on Fuju mod. Simple as that, it was very very easy. So now, how are we going to do um, ultra version? Well, the way to do that is actually download the Fuju app from the market. Sorry if my pronunciation of Fuju is not right, but um, hey. So first of all I'm going to show you, show you it down here. And there we go, on Fuju mod. Obviously the um, modem stayed the same, so that's perfect. Right, so now for the um, the actual Fuju mod. So now we're going to go into market. This is, this is for the ultra version. The ultra version is basically like a faster version, so to speak. There you go, Fuju app. There's the paid version and the free version. So just today we're going to go for the, uh, the free version. You can obviously pay for it. Um, and the paid version just gives you um, some extra features which are quite useful. So go ahead and obviously if you want to donate, that's a really easy way to donate. So that's really nice. Um, remember always donate to devs because they're just like us, me and you, just doing stuff. Well, making well, making a living normally but also posting cool stuff so you can't really see that at the moment I can't well anyway it comes with JF JFS and EXT4 um, so I'm gonna go for EXT4 so I'm gonna convert everything to EXT4 once you when, once you select whichever you want so all EXT4 hit apply you need to reboot the file system change to take changes to the uh, to make changes so hit reboot it'd be lovely if my camera focused but obviously not right so after about um, three to four minutes it's uh, finally done it so it's converted it and so now we're going to go back into SGS kernel flasher we're gonna go choose the kernel go back go down and get the current ultra version this time and flash kernel and there we go I'm on the ultra version now that was very simple very easy to do Voodoo Sound 9 is implemented in the version that I just flashed which is the 4.0 point, the 4 version I think there's BLN support as well as you can see 
and I'm sure there's a way to disable that through recovery but I can do that in my spare time so there you go number 331 by R. Faramir um, done on the Tuesday well May the 20 May the 24th so reasonably uh, reasonably new so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed that the last thing I'm going to do is going to recovery and see how that looks like there you go um, clockwork recovery clockwork murder recovery sorry so um, we've obviously got the, uh, the normal the normal options advanced Dalvik cash restore permissions but I think that's about it there's nothing there's nothing else there right so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys please do rate comment subscribe and um, yeah enjoy enjoy flashing it um, on the on the XDA forums there's been a lot of positive feedback on it and um, it seems really fast and reliable so obviously I'll have to uh, look into that and see how fast it actually is and um, how I feel around you know how how I enjoy using it so to speak um, however I was very happy on um, DC 2.5 and I'm pretty sure I'll be happy on this as well enjoy guys bye bye